Welcome back, Ragnarok online enthusiasts. My name's Amber. Long time no see, but I am here today with a little 20th anniversary special. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I thought what better way to celebrate 20 years of Ragnarok online than a top 10 background music or BGM video. Um, I, this, for as old as this MMO is, man, they didn't have to, but they went hard on the background music. It's the background music for this game is phenomenal. I mean, even today, I'll just chill and listen to it. Uh, for me specifically, music really captures nostalgia for me. I'll remember a point in time through the music. So when I hear Ragnarok on my music, oh my God, it takes me right back. So if you're an old player, if you're a new player, if you've never played, if you are not playing anymore, but you just want to feel a little nostalgic, then stay tuned. So let's look at my top 10 in no special order, Ragnarok Online background musics. First up on our list is Islude. Um, this song is called Everlasting Wanderers and it's the theme of Islude. Uh, Izud's not a main city, it's like a satellite town to Promterra, but for me specifically, oh my god, the time I've spent here. Um, Promterra is too crowded, so Izud was perfect. Um, me and my friends would chill right outside Izud, and it, it was just like, it was right next to Promterra, you had easy access. Um, when uh, I first started, here's some uh, Amber lore. <laughs> I wanted to be an archer, but I was so new to the game that I didn't really have like the means to do it myself. I needed help. And like, it was like a friend's friend, I think, this random person that helped me this dude was too effing lazy to help me with the archer quest and he convinced me to just job change to swordsman so i did so swordsman was actually my first job and listen i love swordsman now knights are perfect but at the time like i was just I didn't want to be a swordsman. I wanted to be an archer. And I bring that up because we were all kind of stationed in Islud. Islud just so happens to have the swordsman guild. So I got my swordsman to maybe level like, I don't know, 20 or 30. And then I had the resources to then job change to archer. So I made a new character. Um, and as you just saw, another huge point in Islude right now, it's kind of like the starting town. Um, the, the little academy is stationed in Islude. And obviously back in the day, like the academy didn't exist, but everyone kind of starts out in Islude. I love Islude. The vibe is exquisite. Here's the Swordsman Guild. Um, it's small. It used to be smaller. They act through updates like the, the city has grown. It's way bigger. Um, there's like a bunch of little tutorial quest NPCs to get started. They've really made this like the newbies like beginner paradise. Um, there's like a tool shop, a weapon shop um your typical npcs and that's kind of it oh the airship the if you don't have like the vip status the airship is the only way to really get to like those far off towns and that used to be like the only way um and there's a couple other places so that's Islude. i love this song it's so bright and vibrant 
it, it's a great way to start off your journey. It gets you energized, ready to go out and fight some monsters. But my personal favorite town is Lude. And this is the theme, Everlasting Wonders. Now to the next BGM. All right, next we have Bialan Dungeon, which is also the Islut Dungeon, coincidentally. And this is the theme for the first three floors. It's called Be Nice and Easy. Uh, <laughs> back in the day, uh, this was a staple place to level. It's like kind of one of those places where the monsters are pretty weak and the experience is really good. Um, and there's so many levels. Uh, man, it, it's nice because in these beginner levels, all the monsters are passive. There's nothing that's going to really like hurt you except for Hydra. Be careful because they're ranged. <laughs> Those will get you. But I have so many vivid memories of this place. And this song, being nice and easy, it, it really, it gives off that vibe that you are literally exploring some like really like dark, dank, underground tunnel. Um, uh, it, it gets me so excited to just run through and explore. Um, and the farther you go through, by a land dungeon the <laughs> more rough it gets uh the, i think the fourth or fifth floor has the very sought after fen monster that drops the fen card which makes it so that your casting cannot be interrupted and man that was like the crowned jewel for so many spellcasters back in the day that was just like you needed to have that and it was so hard to come by but yeah this was byland dungeon for the first three levels the song is be nice and easy and i love it so to the next bgm all right here we are in aldebaran and this is the theme to aldebaran I think this city is so underappreciated. Oh my god. When I think of cities in Ragnarok Online that I would just want to live in, boy, you know Aldebaran is number one. And it has the Alchemist Guild, which is my favorite class, except Gravity really after them with the homunculus update i'm still salty about that i have a video about it go watch it but the theme is so calming it's such a vibe i mean one thing i've noticed with a lot of these like original cities is they have a very similar vibe of like a lot of like bricks stone like maybe some wood roofs it's giving like like cottage core maybe <laughs> like there it's not very a lot of the towns were not very asian looking which it's a korean mmo this is like giving like i don't know very european i guess uh, correct me if i'm wrong Ooh, the headquarters for Kafra Corporation is an Aldi Aldebaran. But oh my god, like this town looks so good. Um, at one point, they were planning to do housing. I mean, that for for like back in the early 2000s, like for an MMO to come out with that idea already was amazing, but it was nipped in the butt because there were a lot of like vicious attacks on gravity in their servers um when they tried to go pay to play people were literally hacking gravity and deleting like 
tons of files and within that i guess was a lot of resources they needed to incorporate this like user housing that's why in all of the cities you just see random houses just random houses with tons of rooms and just nothing in them i guess they were planned to be user houses it's been so long why haven't they like gone back to that if I could call one of these houses my own, oh my god, that would be so special to me. Um, it, I would kill for that. But, and like the little tables with the little tablecloth, come on. Um, I, and you get to another city I love, Ludi from Aldebaran. Uh, it's such a great city. We have the clock tower dungeon here too. It, which the clock tower is so spooky. It's it's such a complete opposite from the city itself. And then just the complete opposite from Ludi too with like the toy factory. But oh, it's one of my favorite towns. The aesthetic is on point and the theme is so relaxing. You just want to sit and vibe and chill with people. It's really, really nice. But that's the theme of Aldebaran. So on to our next BGM. All right. So next we have the song Wanna Be Free. And it's the theme to all of the War of Imperium castles. It's quite interesting because I didn't care for War of Imperium. Like, I just didn't. It was not my thing. I didn't like fighting other players. I was not a purse, like a PvP kind of girl. So it's weird that I love this song so much. Um, I, it's, it's in my brain and I don't know where I've gotten it, like stuck in my head from because I just didn't play like War of Imperium. But I know that's a huge deal for a lot of people and the song is so good so i wanted to include it um and i think every single different city has their own war of imperium castles and then when you enter a castle this theme starts playing i i feel like for war of imperium castles the theme should be a bit more dramatic but for what it is it which it's amazing it, it's great it has like a nice sense of adventure you just want to go explore and there's not too much i'm gonna say about it just because <laughs> i didn't do war of imperium but i love the song all right next bgm all right next bgm this song is called tread on the ground and it's it is the theme of this specific frontier field. I believe it is one map east and then north of frontier city. And I have a special appreciation for this field because this is where one of my first Lord of Death parties was or were. <laughs> I know English. Um, I have a video um, about how we abused the MVP Lord of Death. Go check it out. But this field was just not a very popular field to go level in. And it, as you can see, it is a maze. Like it is literally while recording this content, like I was trying to get to the upper right hand corner. I, I was like lost. I was hitting dead ends. Like I couldn't figure it out. Um, but I love this song. Um, it's it's Frontier Fields kind of have some of the dopest songs, and it's those areas are the areas I spent the most time personally. Uh, whenever I made a new character, it's like all right. Prontera fields 
So this field was just another field I leveled in. Um, everyone likes to like min max everything and they'll only go to specific areas where they're going to get the most experience. But like, I like to start out at a low level field and slowly work my way through the field. So I'll keep traveling and traveling and traveling to get some variety. Um, I think there's so many maps in this game that are just not utilized whatsoever and it's so sad. No one has a reason to go to this map. Uh, every map is so special. I know the graphics are dated, but to me this is beautiful. And I, I really truly appreciate maps like these. And I love the song. So this was Tread on the Ground. The theme of the map that is one map east and one map north of Frontera. All right, next, BGM. Okay, here we are. You knew it was coming. The theme of Frontera. I mean, come on. <laughs> the biggest, most popular city in the game where it is a sea of shops. To the point where, like, I have a good computer, let's just say that. And even I'm lagging at times going through this city. Um, back in, like, the early 2000s, when we all had really crappy, like, Windows XP computers, it was a hassle. It was a hassle getting through the sea of vendors. Like, you'd move, like, two frames at a time. And you just have to click every single shop to look. So I really associate this city with shopping. Um, it was not a place to hang out. It was too laggy. You didn't just, at least I didn't hang out here. Um, but there's so much here. Uh, here is the church and this is where you get married. Now, before there was an actual marriage feature people would have like pretend weddings and i that is such a vibe <laughs> they just did what they could where they gathered everyone they performed a ceremony i loved randomly popping in there just to see who's getting married and just deciding to be a part of somebody's wedding it was so cute and then where I'm heading next is the Knights Guild. Uh, I really love Knights. Damn, they didn't have to make Knights so sexy though. Um, <laughs> so, oh, and then also in the Knights Guild here, there's a person behind that counter that will teleport you right outside of Pantera Culverts, which is like a multi-level dungeon that was a really good place to level. And they also give you like a bunch of free potions and things. So we, oh, two people just hiding there. <laughs> um, there's so much in Pantera now. Um, again, a lot of empty houses with no purpose. In fact, when Lord of Death abuse was a thing, I specifically remember participating in a Lord of Death party. I was a dancer, actually. I was partnering with a bard, and I was a dancer playing the gem song. And we chose a random room in a random house in Prontera to have this Lord of Death party. What would you do if you walked into a random house and there was just this giant armored man on a horse, giant MVP? I can't imagine like what <laughs> I would be terrified, but there there's so much to do. I mean, the the most amount of vendors for like upgrade equipment is right outside the refinery here 
So if you need Illunium or Riticon, anything like that, people will set up shop right outside the refinery so you can always find what you need. I mean, there's there's so much here. And we've all spent a lot of time in Prontera. Let's not kid ourselves. But yes, it's the theme of Prontera. All right. Next BGM. And of course, coming off of Prontera, we have South Prontera Field. Now, this is where we hung out. And as you can see, it's deserted now, unfortunately. But this is where people went to hang out. Um, people would AFK for hours, if not days. <laughs> um, and man, did we like to set off dead branches. I mean, I have screenshots from 2005, 2007-ish of just a sea of people dead outside of Frontera from dead branches. Um, now there's like a recast timer, but before you could set dead branches off as fast as you could slam that like hotkey and then multiple people would do it and it would be disastrous. And for some reason, gravity was like, you know what? We're going to make bloody branches, which summon MVPs. If you summoned a mistress MVP, that thing was not going anywhere. It was like the little like hornet, queen hornet, queen bee, and it teleported. So it would teleport around the map. So you're just walking along and then it's like, mistress, you're dead. And then every now and then it would teleport right by the portal, annihilate everyone and just peace out. I'm sorry, I love that branches. I think they're so much fun. If you don't like dying to them, then have fly wings on you and don't AFK outside. Sorry. <laughs> but on this map, you have the rocker field to the left. You have Isla to the right. And then south, you are headed towards the desert. And then you can get to Morak from the fields down there. I've spent so many hours AFK in this field or chatting with people. Uh, man, talk about a place that I spent a lot of time. And if I wasn't right outside Frontera, I was right outside Islud. That like little hill outside Islud was all of my friends like favorite little like gathering area it's kind of away from all the people outside Prontera. it felt like our little spot so but yes yeah, south Prontera, everyone's favorite hangout place all right next bgm another perfect city is geffen and this is the theme of geffen Oh, by the way, South Prontera Field, that song was called Streamside, I forgot to say. But, oh man, talk about another city with vibes. This is what I'm talking about. Like, with like the brick, the wooden roofs, cottage core. It's just, oh my God, it, it's such a vibe. It feels so cozy. And the song does too. So chill, relaxing. Um, the Mage Guild is here, so I always associate Geffen with like magic, you know? Um, there's like a Geffen dungeon that's like terrifying, like ghouls and hunter flies and whatnot. Um, some of my places to level are the maps right alongside Geffen on each side um oh I love these beginner areas like the places that have the guilds for like the original jobs swordsman archer mage etc love those places love the OG places um I noticed there's like melons everywhere. <laughs> Where did those come from? There never used to be just like honeydew melons everywhere. Um, 
I I gotta like look at screenshots of what these cities looked like originally. So much has changed. They've added so much. But damn, this is such a good place. I always went to Geffen, and this is so obscure. But I loved making different dyes. You could use the dyes to dye your hair, to dye certain like headgear. So there is actually a quest. Um, is it in this building? I think it is. I'm going there right now. Um, you talk to that guy, that guy right there, and you can get him to make you mixtures and counter agents from alcohol and detriment dexta and like another one that begins with a k and you need those in order to make the dyes i think or maybe it was for the hair quest i can't remember i just have a vivid memory of always going there and i felt like ooh, no one knows about this except me so i'm gonna like make lots of these and sell them for a profit and no one really bought them <laughs> but yes the theme of geffen it's such a cozy nice place i love it here but yes all right next bgm Ooh, here's another dungeon for you we have pan cave and the theme of the first three floors of Pan Cave is called Ancient Groover. That is such a perfect name for this. Oh my god. It's everything about the song with the aesthetic of this cave and the monsters is perfect. It's got that like spooky vibe but also kind of like the same like vibe of Pan too like mixed. And then as you move through the cave, it gets so much more dangerous. As I was recording this in the, the higher levels, it would get so mobby, like, like I couldn't move. My character could not move. And I had to like get off my little wolf, kill everything just so I could progress. Um, I feel like the difficulty has gone up a lot, like recently or after renewal. Uh, it was much easier, these higher levels, uh, before, but man, it's perfect because there's so many undead monsters here. So it was great to like go there as an acolyte and heal bomb things or partner up with somebody, maybe like an archer with fire arrows. I, man, it's just even now when i make new characters i go to pan dungeon i think one of the eden group equipment quests send you here anyway so i'm always here like always um i think in my swordsman speed run i brought my character here and i was collecting red herbs to sell to make money look it's so crazy there's so much i could look i'm gonna get off my wolf i think i'll try to kill everything because you can't you can't move like that's crazy if you're a lower level like what are you gonna do you're just gonna die <laughs> but oh, i love pan cave it is a staple leveling place it's got those spooky skeleton vibes and the song ancient groover is perfection so on to i believe this is our last bgm what a way to close out this video than the theme of the novice training grounds it's called one step closer and it's so cute i love that I had to find a random private server just to record this footage. So sorry if it looks kind of weird and wonky. I I don't know how to get to the novice training grounds anymore on the official servers. Like I think they're gone and that's so sad. I 
came to the training grounds, every new character, you get those free levels, you go and get those first monster kills, and there's like an NPC that gives you like a little personality test to help you decide on what job you want to be. I love it. It was just like, and the song just gives you this vibe of like, you're just starting out fresh sleep you can choose any job you want this is the beginning of a brand new adventure and they give you the starting gear that you need to it oh my god i remember when ragnarok transcendence launched which was their failed attempt at a classic server i want to say it's their second try <laughs> they fail um and like the first few days it launched man the novice training grounds were popping i couldn't find my video of when i was in the novice training grounds because i recorded it but holy crap so many people so many people i love this next room oh my god look at this room it's like a child's room it's like you're a little toddler and you hear your toys to play with because you're a little baby novice. You're a little new adventurer. Um, oh, this song is so good. It's just, it gets you so excited about the game. It's the perfect introduction to Ragnarok Online. It's the perfect thing to listen to while you're learning about all the features of the game, leveling your character. It's really good. It's really, really good. But guys, uh, those were my top 10 Ragnarok background musics, BGMs, in no order. It was so hard to choose, really hard to choose just 10. There's so many songs in this game that are so incredibly good. So please comment what your favorite background music is. I might make another one of these. Please remind me of all the good music in this game. And if I can find 10 more that I think are really good, I'll do another video. But I think this is just something that's so important to me is capturing like these feelings from when we used to play this game even if you're not playing anymore if you're currently playing if you're thinking about coming back i think these nostalgic memories of all of these places all of these songs is something that we all can relate to um it's such a feel feel good like vibe i i love it i really do um but yes if you haven't subscribed please do i took a little bit of a break from making videos i'm kind of all <laughs> over the place uh and stay tuned i make ragnarok online content for as long as I'm interested until I feel fulfilled that I've made everything I could make about this game. Uh, I play on the official international Ragnarok server Chaos. And leave a comment. Tell me your favorite background music. And until next time, thank you all for watching. Bye bye.